Sometimes I just go until I uh, think of something to do here, change it up. Or... If you can hear us. <laughs> Bonner Springs. There's yes. a loud train right beside us. But we, uh, we're going to go camping this weekend and those plans got destroyed by flooding in Nebraska. So instead, we decided to come to Kansas City and we are at the Moon Marble that Company. They call it Moon Marble Company. Uh, where they do demonstrations on how they make marbles and there's a toy shop and all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah, Bruce and Linda, they've owned this place for over 30 years. Uh, it actually changed to the Marble Company, Moon Marble Company, 20 years ago. Accidentally, they got into marbles, and uh, Bruce started demonstrating how to make marbles, and so they kind of turned it into a cool little business. It used to actually be a cabinet and carpentry shop uh, before that, so. Yeah, but should be fun the kids are excited we have their guesses on how they think they make marbles so we're gonna see <laughs> the truth but then we're gonna do some other fun things in Kansas City so yeah we'll show you some video of that On you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin, cause it melts away for its sincere. And you dream about this very. This is Bruce, the owner of Moon Marble Company. When you walk in the door, it's clear that this place was created with love. Watching Bruce make a marble was a blast. Not only is the atmosphere joyful and nostalgic, everything about it was entertaining. From the classic toys to the out-of-this-world marble creations and the friendly staff, everything made it a place that we won't soon forget. All right, I'm going to make a fancy marble. I hope you guys can hang in there. All right? First thing you do before you wear glasses, you put your safety glasses on. Very, very important that you wear safety glasses when you wear glass, or you'll burn your eyeballs off. All right, so. All right these are called didiniums. They're purple lenses, and they help you see my work in the flame. When you see me put the glass in the flame, it's going to turn yellow. But with these, I see the work in the flame, so I can see exactly where I am and where I'm working. So I'm just going to do a little quick uh, demonstration of how we make king. All right, look at this thing. It wants to fall right off, flopping around. We've got a touchdown. And this I'm going to pull and just start twisting. You do the twist, and it goes like this. It's called Twisty King. Here, watch this. Magic trick. All right, I think that this is heated up enough. I hope. This is sparky and propane. Oxygen again. This is a pretty large diameter glass rod. You've got to be really careful sticking a large rod into a hot flame that could explode. So now I'm going to go to the hot spot. Can you see that light lighting up in my hand? That's fiber optics. That's the light transmitting through the rod. The glass doesn't heat up in my hand. That's good for me. In the back, when you go out this door, turn right. Those are marbles that I make. And then Every year we have a big show called Marble Crazy. This year I invited 26 artists here from all over the country. For two days we took turns making marbles. And then after the show I bought marbles from all these different artists. So the second showcase towards the window are marbles that I buy from artists from all over the world. And uh, handmade marbles start at $10, $15. Oh, there may be some out there for $12 or $14. And then they go uh, up to thousands of dollars each marble, depending on what the glass artist is doing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and turn this into what's called half a marble, which is called a Maria. Here we go. This is a graphite plate. 
And graphite's a great material for glass workers. So when I put that glass to the graphite, it's over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to pick up the sparkly glass. Got it all. And we're going to work it in. All right. Here I come. Take a peek inside. I'm, this is a quick look, everybody. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make another little half of marble and pop it in on the other side. Everybody doing good? All right, hang on here. Do this. I'm going to form this into a marble, and then uh, I'm going to do something else with it. I don't know why. Not. This is kind of egged out, so I'm going to gently turn it in sideways, spin it. Starting to form a marble. There we go. So, um, we could do different things with this glass inside now. Let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. This is never going to be part of the marble. It's just a rod to hold the piece. It's called a punty rod, by the way. P-U-N-T-Y. Lots of uh, pretty sparkly glass in there, that's for sure. Little rocket flame. <laughs> right, let's take a look. <clears throat> so there's all of our sparkly glass. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rod here. And a rod here, and I'm going to twist that around a little bit. Twist it like a nice soft twist, okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and put another punty rod 180 degrees from this one. There's a little color on the end of this rod. I don't want it on the outside. All right, let's get this on there. I like things from the past. And when you come into the Moon Marble Company, I hope that you feel like you're stepping back in time a little bit. Right? I like to buy toys we had. And although I still buy things that I think are going to become the things kids remember years from now. This is the final part, everybody. And this goes pretty quick, so try not to snooze. <laughs> People wonder, how do I get this off the rod for the final time? I'm going to show you. So this next rod I put on is going to be very small, pen, what we call a pencil point. Like this is our marble. It's nice and spherical. There's our colors. You can see them in there. All right, folks, I'm going to head right to the finish area. Here I go. All right, I'm at the finish area. <laughs> For now, I'm over here. Special glass worker's knife. <laughs> This I'm going to just touch to that where that little point connects to the marble, and I spin this around. The idea is to make that brittle and weak. The marble's hard. This is a fire brick. I set it on the fire brick very gently. I don't want to scratch the marble. I give this a look. Wow. It leaves a little spot on there. It's like a belly button. So I use a special tool used by farmers and now me, and I melt the belly button right into the marble. All right, say goodbye to the marble, everybody. Bye. This kiln is set at 960, 960 degrees. It's the cool down temperature for this glass. That's going to make the glass hard and not brittle. If you skip that, the glass is going to be very brittle. Runs cold. Ooh, they look like they have flowers Don't you in them. They do look like they have flowers in them. Because it melts away from us and sand. And you dream about this very night. When the boat walks down the summer sky. It'll be the morning of the spring. When the sea runs dry, we'll stop to sing. Have you heard from the sky?
the marbles, there is still a, <laughs> there is a train literally right there. So hopefully you can hear, but it was pretty cool to see how they made the marbles. The demonstration was really entertaining. Um, and there are some really cool marbles in there. Just works of art. They are pretty incredible, some of them, the things they can put in there. I mean, there was a whole, one with a whole space theme in it. And like there was an astronaut and a rocket ship and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it is a must do if you're in Kansas City to come and check it out and then you can get your own little marble. Um, so pretty neat. Touched a dinosaur, Manny. Great job. What's in there? Dinosaur poo. <laughs> what? You don't look like a dinosaur poo? It's weird. It looks like a brain. <laughs> <laughs> we have made our way over to the museum at Prairie Fire, which is a natural history museum. Um, lots of hands-on stuff for the kids. Um, it's a newer museum and the uh, kids get lots of hands-on stuff, dinosaurs, that kind of a thing. Yeah, we believe it's Overland Park, it might be Lee Wood, we don't know. But well, let me look here. Overland Park. Overland Park. And um, it is a gorgeous building. Like there's just this beautiful stained glass everywhere. It's really cool. But um, it's also in a shopping center, so there's that for, you know, whoever doesn't want to explore the Natural yes. History Museum. Oh, but lots of coffee or something. Yes. Um, movie theater like there's plenty to do so we better go catch up with the kids <laughs> go get them so we're in the discovery room right now which is just a place for kids to basically get their hands on the science there's a dino dig they can put a dinosaur foot back together there's like human skeletons our children are injuring each other <laughs> so there's just a lot of stuff for them to do if you can't tell by Steve's silence, this is his favorite kind of a thing to do. <laughs> totally. It's amazing. In other words, Dad's aboard. <laughs> well, there's great information in here for children. I don't know what else. <laughs> anyway. We'll show you some of it. something on there and look. It got cut off. Is there a fossil on there? A leaf fossil. You guys want to see? Too close. Back it up. There you go. They don't. Oh, that one looks really fuzzy. It's huge, isn't it? Hi guys. These, these two are brothers. Oh. Walter and Philip, and they're from Australia. Oh. Oh. Come a long way. You have to keep them separate though. <laughs> They're very territorial. They like to have their own space. If he even sees his brother, he'll start charging at the oh bob his head up and down. Museum. You discovered the American Midwest. That was our quick trip to Kansas City. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail.
heard about summer snow when it falls on you.